Hi everyone, today I will be building an ROV endurance boat powered by solar cells. Let's get to it. But first, a little background on this project. Recently there was a new challenge posted encouraging companies to build drones capable of flying from Japan to the US non-stop. Of course this is something I'm interested in, but long range UAVs can be quite expensive. Now the thought occurred to me, why not attempt this with something cheaper like an RC boat? Now from what I found, a transatlantic boat is definitely feasible and it's not that expensive. In fact, it has been attempted a few times before. The Sea Charger was a ROV that managed to travel to Hawaii and almost make it to New Zealand before the rudder broke. I decided to go with the tri-catamaran design mainly because the PVC pipes are cheap and durable, and they provide great buoyancy. If I want this ROV to be durable, there needs to be as few moving parts as possible, so I went with two T100 thrusters attached to the side pontoons. Now for the energy use. Obviously this RV is going to have to be solar powered since an ocean journey will likely take a few months. The middle pontoon will serve as the electronics bay where all the batteries and autopilot will be located, while the two side pontoons will just be there for buoyancy. For the motors, I opted for the T100 thruster which provides about 5 pounds of thrust at only 130 watts. This is an incredibly efficient motor because it only produces 1 pound of thrust for only 26 watts of power. This means the entire journey will need a constant 50 watts of power if we want to stay at about 1 knot or so. Now a 100 watt solar panel will provide 50 watts to the motors and 50 watts to the batteries for nighttime operation. Now for this battery setup, I made a 12 volt 19,000 milliamp Tesla cell pack. Now this pack only has enough power for 3 hours of nighttime operation, but since this is just a trial test on a fairly sunny day, we will use this battery pack for now. Now that it's assembled, let's go test it out. Thrust vectoring proved to be harder than I expected. Now I managed to head along the coastline somewhat, but the ROV kept going in circles, and as luck would have it, a strong swell knocked the camera stand into the water. Now from my initial test, several improvements stood out. First off, I'm going to end up needing a rudder because controlling the ROV with thrust vectoring was very difficult. The weight on the ROV needs to be redistributed and I think I need to try and redesign the tri-catamarans very slightly so I can improve the buoyancy. Now since this is still a working project, feel free to post suggestions or improvements in the comments below. I will continue to post videos of this project as I refine this ROV and test out its performance. For the next update, I will be installing the autopilot and going along the shoreline. If you would like to see my progress, be sure to subscribe for future updates.